start the evalu evaluation process so and we get to work on the fundamentals and stuff like that which we kind of get an idea of what we need to work on when we get outdoors so I really enjoy the indoors it's, it's the best part of the season for me. We were finalists the year before with a lot of first year players so we felt that with so many returning players that uh, we definitely had a shot at winning the action. We knew it was in Quebec and Montreal uh, for us our and we knew that uh, we'd like to represent uh, Quebec at, at home. So uh, we were really excited and there were a lot of you know, high expectations and what we were prepared for we knew all we were doing. What we had to do when we get into when we got to the indoors and uh, we were excited about the indoors for me. When we went at the practice and indoors it was uh, a big change of the the techniques that they were learning, and especially when the practice started on the Sunday, it was more intense than the Tuesday. Tuesday was more like throwing practice and things like that. But on the, on the, the one on the Sunday was very hard and very, uh, we really enjoyed these uh, practice. challenge to find the pitching staff early and figure out who can pitch. But we're constantly trying to find new pitchers and that's what I look at in the indoors. I'm looking for guys who can throw and can do that well. And uh, also work on the mechanics with those, uh, those kids that have been pitching in the past couple of years and that's what we work on. I found out even the younger kids, the first year players, could throw and we found a couple of really good pitchers early on in the indoors and that was surprising and definitely you can never have enough pitching so that was a good thing. I think the best thing about the indoors was that we had so many players return from the year before and most of them had a pretty good idea of what they had to do hitting wise. It wasn't a case of really having to teach so much as just reinforcing what they already learned and just trying to get their students back to a point where they, they felt comfortable and confident. Number two, Justin Alfalfa Pinto. Number 37, numéro 37, Sebastian Sebas Meltzer. 
Number 23, middle weight four, Michael Eddie Fitzsimmons. <laughs> Number 24, middle weight cat, Jeremy G. Rock. Rock. <laughs> Number 27, middle weight set, Daniel Tex Baslett. Number 11, number 1, Jonathan J. Sticks Pendenza. <laughs> number 22, number 22, Danilo El Toro Cardoza. <laughs> number 25, number 25, Kadeem the Cayman Campbell. <laughs> number 15, Nero Kane. Hey, Tim C.B. Mark. <laughs> Number 10, Jonah Lil Mac Bleachman. <laughs> Number 20, Mel Vane, Carlo Sunshine Federico. <laughs> and Number 40, Mel Cow, Harris The Biggie <laughs> Salvatore. When the team was chosen and when we met at the uh, Trenton Park and we were received in the locker room with, you know, all the paraphernalia, the jerseys, we were sponsored by teams, um, with the bags. I think the boys knew that it was serious. We had talked about it. I mean, we, the coaches had kind of told them what the goals were and this is what was going to happen this summer. But the reality of getting, you know, going in there and seeing that stuff displayed in, you know, the sh jerseys with the, the numbers and it was like... They really said, wow, this is, we can do this. I mean, it was from day one. Um, this was implanted and they, there was a goal. Whereas usually sometimes with other teams, it's always, we're going to do well, we're going to try hard. There was a mandate for this team and it was to go far. So I think the boys knew that from the start. So early on in the season, we always inevitably are dominating our games just because the level of talent isn't that high throughout Quebec. So the first few games of the season, we, we were running over teams 13 nothing, you know, 12 nothing, and it wasn't much of a challenge. It was fun for the kids to, to get a lot of hits and all that, but certainly as coaches, we were waiting for um, you know out of town games or, or games against Valleyfield where we could see what our team was made of. Okay, boys, get in here, Carl. Oh, come on, get guys, underneath. Guys, first of all, good double header, okay? The thing that we like the most is in the second game, played harder in the first game. That's what we wanted. That's what we talked about earlier. We talked about last week, okay? Guys, your vats, you guys were real aggressive. That looked good, okay? We got to bring that into tomorrow. Tomorrow, we got tough games. But guys, take this home. Think about what happened today. You gotta bring a little bit more tomorrow, okay, boys? Yeah, tomorrow is the real test, guys. What's it all about? It's, it's all about our team! One, two, three! NDG! Well, I think that we have a really good team. We're going to go really far. you have a chance to win it all? Pretty good chance. No, no. No, no. Oh, thanks. I heard about it afterwards. Give me a shot. Well, the Provincials are in the last week of July, and the Nationals are in the first week of, of August. I'm supposed to be looking for that. And then, and then in the last two weeks of August, we're going to be, to Williamsport, Pennsylvania, because we're going to become the first Canadian team ever to win a Little League World Series. And we're all we're preparing all the parents to do the interviews with Ted Koppel because they've never interviewed. Tell them about Bono. Oh, Bono is coming. So, Bono Vox, he's coming over from Italy. He's thinking about uh, not from Italy, from Ireland, and he's thinking about bringing Van Morrison as well. So we'll be the first Canadian Wasn't team. Is Edge going to be there too? Yeah, he's coming as well, but he's less important. We're going to be the first Canadian team ever to win the, the uh, Little League World Series from Canada. So, and we got the nicest looking team to support that. Well, when you explain it like that, it just makes sense. <laughs>